This is a piece of high-speed steel that I'm grinding into a lathe threading tool. The point here that I want to have is 60 degrees um, for standard threading. And I don't want the point to be centered necessarily here. I want it to actually be angled in this direction a little bit so that my tool can be angled when I'm cutting threads. That way it won't get in the way of the side of the tool. I can have the tip um, as far to the left as possible. I'm using this. It's a uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle to check my tip. It probably isn't the most accurate way to check it, but right now my tip is a little bit too wide. I need to grind this side down a little bit. So I'm doing that on the bench grinder, and I will go ahead and um, grind more on this side. You know that you have ground far enough into your parts when you see the sparks start to hit the top of it. That means they're, um, you ground all the way up to the top of your edge. Now I'm going to check this again, make sure it's 60 degrees. Up against a different surface you can see that we're just about at 60 degrees. Now that I have the proper tip on here I need to grind the relief on both sides. If my tool rest was high enough that the center of my wheel was there then I wouldn't need to as much because I would be grinding into it in such a way that it would be grinding more at the bottom than at the top but I'll probably just have to grind each side a little bit to give some clearance. It's always, a, it's always a good idea to have some water by grinding because these parts will get hot after a lot of grinding. Now on this side, I'm starting to hit sparks on the top of my part again, which is good. And you can see that this angles that way a little bit, so I do have relief on that side. Now I just have to grind relief on the other side, which shouldn't take quite as long because it's a smaller surface.
Now I've got some relief in both directions. I might need to add a little bit more on this left side, but I'll double check again, make sure that I still have 60 degrees. I'm going to check the tool height, make sure it's still correct. It probably will be a little bit high, but I'm going to put it in the lathe tool post and then move it over here up against my live center, which should be at the center. So you can see that the point of the tool is above the center. So we need to grind a little bit off the top of our tool. So after a couple tries grinding it, um, you can see that the tip lines up pretty well with the center on our tailstock, which means we've got the right height. And now we want to double check again, make sure that we still have 60 degrees. So I have this set up now in my tool post and my tool post is angled just a little bit. I put this point up against my part. There should be the same angle on this side and on this side of the tool so that the 60 degree is straight. Normally you would use a gauge for this. I don't have one, um, but this sh I think it should be close enough for what I'm doing. So 60 degree point is what most threads are, metric and American, but there are different thread styles. Not all of them um, even have a point. Some are like a, have a flat end on them. But with high speed steel tools, you can grind them into whatever shape you might need for threading or for turning. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe.